Okay, I just wanted to take a minute to welcome the dads. We try to do this annually with our guys. It's a great opportunity, I think, for all of us just to spend some time with, uh, with the people that mean the most to us in our lives. And from my standpoint, it's a great opportunity for me just to say thank you to you guys for what you do for your sons. They couldn't be here without you guys. We wouldn't be the team we are without you guys. And the next couple of days is just our way of saying thank you. so far it's nice to meet a bunch of the other dads and kind of loosens things up and that's gonna be a fun trip I'm sure. This is incredible I mean the fathers are just so nice you, it feeds off the energy the players like each other you can just sense it there's been a bonding with the parents it's just all been fantastic. all going to be taller than me, so I'm going back up, I'll go back up yeah. here. No matter how you stack it, the bond between a father and a son runs deep. And for these hockey dads, after years of sacrifices, seeing their surname on an NHL sweater makes them a proud bunch. I try to put myself on the bench, in the locker room, traveling with my dad if I was ever in this situation. I know it would be in the back of my mind, is I just wanted to be proud. Shoot! Takes a slap shot, scores! Oh, wow, good job, boys. How about that? That'll work, boy! Well, the dads, they barely got settled in their seats. Keep it going, boys. Keep it going. Wagner's drilled by Marino. It's going to be another penalty. Here we go. It's unbelievable that he's in a Pittsburgh Penguins uniform to start with. That's incredible. That being said, when he got his penalty, there was rage and fury and why are you doing this and how can we hurt the team, you know? <laughs> hey. It's a trip. Sorry, John. Yeah, you're good, Mom. Hey, we're even now. It's been a, just a great ride. You know, hockey parents are very engaged and they want to see their sons do well. They're fires and scores. It's just one of those nights where the execution wasn't there. And I just think for the Penguins, you don't want to go over two on the dad's trip. The dad's trip just adds to the surrealness of the fact that you have a son who's a professional athlete, which has been a surreal experience since the moment he signed the contract. Nielsen goes to Philip Zadina, drive and he scores! And it's 1-0 Red Wings. Such a high-end league and so many skilled players. It has to come together a lot of things. That's not real. Penalty coming here, though. You don't get many opportunities like this. Penguins want to capitalize right here. Remember how good they looked in the first period on the power play's number one unit. Look yeah. at the passing now. Rust the net, he scores! The Michigan native, Brian Rust, ties the game in Detroit. Here we go, let's go! That's what great coaches do. They make adjustments. That'll do it for regulation. Penguins have the point. They look for two. Hey. Malkin for Crosby, he scores! Yeah. Oh boy! Game over in Detroit, a win for the Dads! Crosby will lean down for the faceoff against Bergeron. Bergeron wins it. And the final matchup of the regular season between the Bruins and the Penguins is underway. Fire, they score! Patrice Bergeron wired it in, 11 seconds into the game. Everybody understood it wasn't what we had hoped the start was going to be. And so, you know, my discussion with the guys in between periods was very much around that idea. At the end of the first period, the Boston Bruins lead the Pittsburgh Penguins. Now listen, I think we got to play a stiff game at both ends of the rink. Offensively, we got to get our noses over pucks. 
we got to be willing to compete, and it's that attitude we talked about in the first meeting here tonight. It's that will to win. Come on, boys. Go, go, go! Get it! There you go. He's got to turn it over. They don't play well against Boston. They've got to make good job, boy, good job. We saw that in the first period. Oh, middle, middle, middle! Latang with one wide. Finesse in front. Scott! Yeah! a beautiful pass from Crosby. Three to two. Even when they were up 3-0, there wasn't a lot of panic. The next goal we knew was going to be huge. We make it 3-1, you know, and it's a two-goal game. And, you know, it's anyone's game at that point, so I think we all kind of had that mindset. Tag, tag, tag! Meanwhile, Nick Hoboy giving a good crunch by Morgan. And a fresh yeah! They're one of the top dogs in the conference, and we wanted to make sure we get a win from them. So, great combo. The record for the Penguins now 31, 13, and 5 on the year as the black and gold will hope to win for the third straight game going into this extended break. Knowing that you're going to have those many days off, I expect the Penguins to empty the tank here tonight. As we said before the game, we got to challenge them with speed and putting pucks behind them. We got to help each other in the breakout. We got to do things quick, all right? Now listen, we got a couple hours here. We got to get locked in. Everybody's got to dig in, and let's get this win tonight. One more needs to be said. Penguins, Flyers, off we go. And it's Hannah. Gonna rev it up for Pens. Play back! There you go, Gino. Oh, yeah. How's everything? All right, ready for a nice little break? Now, Couturier. Good pass for Vortek toward the net, and he scores! Unbelievable. Hey, we need to wake us up right now. Energy level up. Zach Gaspari, Kelly Berger, and Brandon Tanner may have been an absolute bear to play against. Oh, oh. I fell, but incidental. Hey, am I okay with my jersey like that? Yeah, I've only seen him kick people off for active bleeding. Got stuff in your shirt. You're not that bad, I know. Pedersen fires off the post. Crosby digging for him and stays out somehow. Good shift there, eh, boys? Good try. Ron right up the middle for the empty net. He scores. The Penguins left Philly for a 10-day break. Most players traveling out of town, a respite from hockey. But the break meant a little more to a couple of them. We're at the airport right now, waiting to go to St. Louis. Getting ready to go to my first ever All-Star game, and I'm very excited for it. It's something that I don't really know what to expect yet, so it's something that I'm just going to take in stride and have a lot of fun with. Wait. I'm on my way to St. Louis. Wait. We always do homework. I like to do that stuff. You know, it's uh, kind of bring back memories. And we try to do extra because you know Alex's first language was French. So me and my wife wants him to succeed, and he's doing really well. Hey, good job. Yeah, he was excited to come. Now he can enjoy it. He can be with me all the time, around the players. It's more fun for him. In English, he's shy in French, he talks all day. What did you like the most about All-Star? Um, when I saw the Florida and the Pittsburgh Penguins. It's his favorite jersey, Florida. <laughs> Florida and Pittsburgh. And Nashville, for sure. He likes animal, can you tell? I love tigers. It's always fun to see that people recognize what you do on the ice. One day you're gonna look back at your career and you're gonna be happy that you accomplished those things and I'll be happy that you took part of it also. Good job, John. You're doing well. You're like a child star actor. Are you used to the star treatment, especially playing in Pittsburgh? 
He has something to say. I just wanted to say hi to my friends and they see me at TV. <laughs> I really love hockey and... Alex, you want to play in the NHL someday? Yeah. I'll take my dad's place. <laughs> Shine score. Maybe today. Because last night was not a, not a great night for me. Alex, do you like wearing your suits? Yeah. Ooh. Do you like looking like Dad? Yeah. Does Dad have good style? Yeah. Do you have better style? No. No. Honest. I like it. Were you surprised at all how chatty Alex was to the media? Uh, it really surprised. <laughs> Me and my wife had uh, a great laugh after the event. We didn't expect that. He was really shy in English. In French, he can talk for days. And last year when uh, we were in San Jose, he didn't talk much. He would just introduce himself. And as of this year, he... <laughs> <laughs> Let's go there. We welcome you into the Enterprise Center, the host city and building for this year's NHL All-Star Game. It's just a fabulous couple of days here in St. Louis. The competitive balance in this league is at an all-time high. In fact, those competitive juices will get going. Well, here we go. We've got the Atlantic Division against the Metropolitan. It's laid along the crossbar by Latang. And right now for the Metropolitan Division will be Tristan Jari. He played just two NHL games last season. He's been a fabulous story. And that's going to be the end. The Metropolitan Division is done. How much fun did you got this week? Lots of fun. It was lots of fun to play with your dad and him show me everything and to be able to spend time with you and him together. That's what memories are made of. The Penguins returned from their break having played 50 games so far this season. But only five players had played in all 50 of those games. One of them, Marcus Pedersen, returned to work knowing that he would play many more as a Penguin after signing a new five-year contract with Pittsburgh. Is there a feeling of relief and maybe some pressure off you now that that's taken care of? I mean, the, obviously the big things you're going to want to know, so um, I think both me and, me and my agent and, and Jim and, and Jason, all those guys, we had a good, uh, good communication all through, so uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. As the Pittsburgh Penguins will get back into action here on home ice after a 10-day layoff, they get good news. Justin Schultz is going to return to the lineup after missing the last 16 games. And Anthony Angelo will be in uniform for the first time ever as a Penguin. Here you guys, let's go! Head up! I don't think we're playing it right. We're making it look better than it is, you know what I mean? Like, that's how you got to play it. Like, keep our guy in the pocket so we don't widen out. Well, the big question wheel, when you wheel, have wheel. this many days off, Mikey, is rust. Both teams had the exact same amount of time off, so. Still loose, comes across, Voracek shoots and scores. Deep Voracek with Zari down. A power play goal, and the Flyers a 1-0 lead. Is he fan on it, or just trying to pass it? Just talk, we gotta talk a little bit. Good shift for the Penguins. Ornquist shoots an F-stop, rebound. They put it in. Yeah. Oh, it. And a fair yeah. and a fair. And the Penguins have tied this game at one. Right, see ya, boy. Here he's in around the far board. Flyers in, lost an edge on a skate. Thanks. This line's up. I have a skate. Go, 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 go. Skate down. Emma Hyman at the Penguins set it up. Hawk to Crosby. Straight back and fight on open. Yes! Yeah. to come out as a different team here in the second. Well, fans will get tested before this one's done. You know that. Ah! I got him, I got him, I got him. The cross score, Tyler Pitlick. I mentioned in the blink of an eye, you went from very comfortable lead to now you're a little bit in survival mode. You just want to get the fans back into it. 
Let's relax and play here. And we are going to overtime. Three on three hockey. Stay patient here, eh, boys? We'll get it, we'll get it. Crosby open along the boards. The drop pass, and it's the captain. Crosby holds up, fires, he scores! Penguins win over Philadelphia Friday night, has them at 32, 14, and 5 on the year, 69 points. Here on Super Sunday, this is for good reason the spotlighted matchup across the league. The first and fourth best team in the NHL point wise going head to head. Find it, you gotta find it. Yeah, Mario, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, last. Yeah, you got it, Finch. Yeah! We are underway here in Washington with the Penguins moving left to right. Matt Murray between the pipes this afternoon for the Pens, and he's won each of his last five decisions. You gotta be stronger on the puck here. With it is Ovechkin from the box, got it on the cross for a feed. Oh, and a great stop is made there by Matt Murray. Nice, Mark. Wait down. Fed back across, another shot, score! It's 1-0! Hey, there's a lot of hockey. There's a lot of hockey. Oh. Henderson goes after Eller after Eller ran into Hornquist. Yeah, go, let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. I didn't see the hit, what happened? Sam Lafferty brought it in and shot when he scores! That's a way to make your impact up and try to make a name for yourself in this lineup. Nice. That's a great eat. Marino with a shot. Score! Yeah! Great play, Cody. I like Horny. You see where that went? I want to stick him back. He's missing the net. Wear them down here, boys. Stay with it. Jostled back off, it came on out to Tana, they flop one in! Yeah! Yeah! And the Penguins have won it! Good job! It wasn't the prettiest period in the third period, but I love our compete, I love our fight, I love our battle. It's a hell of an effort by everybody. Great win, boys. Hey, let's have some fun tonight. Yeah! Yeah! the Pens and the Bolts tonight. It's the first of a couple coming up pretty quickly. And the Penguins skate on into Tampa Bay, winners of two straight. Now tonight, they get a team that has some serious and justifiable Stanley Cup aspirations. Nice tip ahead for Stamkos. He's got a lane. Stamkos for point for Stamkos score. There wasn't really an opportunity for the Penguins if they were going to establish any kind of flow and rhythm in this game to just seem choppy off the hop, and the Penguins never really seem to have their game as they talk about in this one. And now it's Victor Hedman taking his time off the boards to center. Kucherov, that empty, he scores. No matter what this season has presented, the Penguins have persevered. It's a testament to the players, but perhaps more so a product of the coaching staff. Just believing in us, I think, is a huge part that no matter how the situation was and how many injuries we've had, they've just told us that we can win every night, no matter who we put out there. We can't get rattled if it doesn't go our way. So high marks to all of you guys that we just kept playing the game. We need everybody here. We need everybody to get this thing done right now, and everybody's chipping in, so it's really good. I'd like to believe that our coaching staff has a good relationship with the players. What's up, Teddy? How are you doing? You're so... You so... You know, we've always looked at it that this game is a partnership, and it's our job to try to guide this team and, and steer this team in the right direction to help the players be successful. Quick! One more! That's it! That's a good shot! Good shot, Jack! You stuck with me today. Surfing, anybody? Big resilience in our group that we have. They kind of put that little seed in there and, and let us let us grow like that. So, like believing in us and always telling us that if you play hard and 
and you work your butt off, we're gonna win games. You know, at the end of the day, I've always been a believer that it's a player's game. The players are the guys that go on the ice, and they're the guys that get it done. Chris Letang is going to head to the box for the Penguins. You got him, you got him. Letang up and ready to get out of the block. Here he goes. Chance for Letang. Hopped away from that flat. Letang. All alone. He scores. First goal looms pretty large for the Penguins considering the situation here tonight. They don't like that little space play. Boy, there's a, a lot of mistakes, but there's a lot of hard work out here. Yeah! It can be a giving game, it can be an unforgiving game. We're really giving them that front here to the Penguins tonight. The Penguins returned home a different team. With two weeks until the trade deadline, Jim Rutherford acquired Jason Zucker from the Minnesota Wild. A championship puzzle is comprised of many pieces, and the Penguins just added another one. We're always evaluating our group and trying to best understand where we are as a team and how we can improve. And as far as the trade is concerned, we're, we're thrilled to have Jason. We really think he's going to make us a better team. This is a guy that, that's a top six forward that has real good offensive instincts and an ability to score goals. We're just trying to become the, the, the best team that we can become that's going to give us the best chance to win. The games coming up are going to be huge for us, and we're in a great spot with our mindset and how we play the game and how we know that if we work hard and we, we're hard to play against, we're going to win some games. It's tough to be consistent. I think that's the hardest part about this league is every game is going to be a battle, and it's up to us and the coaches, you know, just to stay focused and take one game at a time. The stakes get high for everyone. There's such a fine line between winning and losing. The games just get more difficult it creates a heightened level of intensity, and it just becomes a more difficult game. Yeah, I really like the Pittsburgh Penguins. I heard you were a good big brother, Alex. <laughs>